Okay, we're turning this into this. And so far, we've done this. Now, next job is rear axle. Now, I like to use the original mobility scooter wheels, so when you're finished, it still looks like a mobility scooter. You could use a go-kart axle, go-kart wheels, but it wouldn't quite look as authentic. So with that in mind, better get on with it, haven't we? For our axle, you're gonna need a bit of metal. So you want a bit of 17 mil bright steel. I say bright steel, bright steel's perfectly round, it's lovely. It'll sit on the wheel nicely. Look at that, nice, nice fit. And then you're gonna need yourself some bearings. If you get some of these, they kind of look like a little clock that's set on your mantelpiece. There's a link on my website where you can buy these. And also, it'll fit over there, absolutely perfect. Such a tight fit. Oh yeah, look at that, you see, look. Look at that, no play, nice fit. Now then, you need to offer it up to our machine to cut it down to length. So it wants to be a bit, bit closer than that. We sit there like that, that'll sit on there like that. There we go, so our wheel's gonna stick out a little bit, but you have to admit, it's gonna look pretty cool, ain't it? Cause it'd be like, you know, flare the arches, and like, yeah. a little mark on there. There we are, mister. <laughs> So that's the axle cut to size. Now before we mount it on the frame, we need to know the chain length. To know the chain length, we need to get the sprocket set up. Now for the rear sprocket, I don't use a rear sprocket, I actually use another front sprocket. Now to get these to fit over the shaft, we've got to get rid of the little teeth in the middle. Now to get the teeth out of these, it's quite tricky. Drill bits won't touch it, it's too hard. So stick it in a vise, and then get a die grinder. <laughs> Lovely job. Sprocket now fits over the shaft, but it's a little bit wobbly. We don't want that. So if you get one of these collars, details also available on my website, push that over. They're a really nice tight fit and then just slide it down, butt it up to that and that will stop it rocking. But it will be rocking. Oh, hi. <laughs> now to check see if we've got it on nice and square. You just put it on the bench and roll it down. That's on nice and square, look. So, we you want to cut that there. Okay, so we've got the chain on. Now we can pull the axle back and then work out where to drill our holes to fix the bear into the frame. Hey, what about these chain adjusters, eh? Looks good. Next thing, we need a brake disc. So for the brake disc, cut a circle of metal out using a bi-metal hole saw, and then using the pilot hole for that, you can put like a disc in the middle of the brake disc to keep it central for you to mark out the four holes, bolt it on, and then just simply weld another one of them little uh, shafty collary things on I've got. Make sure it's all nice and square, slide it over the axle, bang, that's your brake disc. Yeah! The caliper's actually off a kid's quad bike, which is really good, because they have a right-hand brake lever for the back brake for some reason, and then you just mount a bit of a plate to it, and then slide that over there, and then fix it to either the side of the frame or the plate that we put the engine on. Okay, nearly there, two more things to do. First thing, we'll need to put a centre bearing in, because when you accelerate at the moment, this is just a mild steel axle, it's just gonna bend it. So I've kind of pressed the bearing into a bit of tube, and, uh, and then we'll fix it to the back of the engine mount. But if you can't do that, then you can use one of these bearings, and uh, they'll clamp in and, and be about the right distance apart, but you won't have any adjustment in that. And then last of all, we've just gotta put some keyways in for the axle. So for the keyway, I've got a mill, so I just do a nice little slot. If you haven't got a mill, I've done it before, if you drill a row of holes and then file out the little, the little ridges in between it, you can do it. It takes a long time and it's not as good, but you know, if you've not got a mill, you've not got a mill. So, and then just drill and tap an eight mil thread in the end and then it's done. Stick it back on the machine. There we are, that's the axle. Now you may have noticed that the sprocket and the brake disc aren't actually fixed to the axle, but once we know everything is definitely where we want it, we'll weld them on a bit later. Anyway,
Okay, next video, electronics and the carb, yeah. <laughs>